Hello again. Today we're going to be talking about the regression line of x against y. Up until now it's been y against x, so we need to know um, how to handle the regression line going the other way. All right, so why would we need to do this? Well, sometimes the y values are more precise than the x values, so we would need to use the distance of each data point from the line in the x direction instead of the y direction. So for example, a student spends x hours studying for a test and receives a score of y. Well, that test score is going to be more accurate than um, the student trying to figure out how many hours they spent studying. All right, so here's what you do. Uh, in your calculator, you change x list to list 2 and your y list to list 1. Uh, normally, it would be x list is list 1 and y list is list 2, just like normal, but we're going to switch the order of those. And then you find the equation of the uh, regression line, but what you're going to do is with those a and b values that it gives you, uh, you're going to write it as x equals a y plus b. All right, so here's an example of how to do that. The following table shows the number of hours x that a student studied for a test and the scores that they received out of 100. Okay, so I put that data in and notice how the x's do go in list one and the y's go in list two. All right, so let me show you first of all how to switch those lists around. I go to set and notice how it's set up there. I do have two variables in my list. So I'm changing the two variable x list to list two. And I change the two variable y list to list one. All right, so now they're switched. So even though list one has my x's and list two has my y's, um, the calculator is going to treat the y's like the x's and the x's like the y's. I just have to remember that um, in my problem, I switched them. So I press exit, and now I do a regression just like normal. Um, it is linear, so I press X, and I press F1 for AX plus B, and so that's what it gives me. Now you're going to have to ignore that line at the bottom that says Y equals AX plus B, because what the calculator thinks is Y is actually my X, and what the calculator thinks is X is actually my Y. So I write it as x equals 0.25y minus 17.75. All right, so maybe there's some follow-up questions to this. Um, we now have this equation, and now we can uh, use different variables of x and y that weren't in the table to try and figure out the matching data point that goes with it. So let's say someone scored a 92 on the test. How many hours did they study? Well, 92 is a y value, so I plug that in, and I get an x value of 5.25 hours. That's what I could approximate, or that's what I could predict, uh, is the number of hours that they studied. Um, and conversely, we can be given an x, like someone studied for six hours, and figure out what score they might make on the test. Okay, so now this is an x value, and I'm trying to solve for the y, and I get that Y would be 95. So if someone uh, studied for six hours, they might get a 95 on the test. All right, so that is just switching things up just in case the Y values are more precise and you need to do a regression of X against Y. Uh, if you have any questions, please let me know and I will see you tomorrow.